Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sekina Sekina Suba, and if this is the first time stopping by, if this is the first time seeing this face, you are most definitely welcome. I want to thank you guys for 10,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. If you are an old subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you, I appreciate the love, I appreciate the support. And if you are new here, welcome to this little community, welcome to this little space. And um, we talk about skincare, we talk about beauty and lifestyle. So if you vibe with my kind of content, please make sure to stick around if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and be sure to hit the bell button so you get notified every single time i upload a video so in today's video you can see in the caption we're going to be talking about things that you should never put on your face basically like diys that is very viral all these viral diys and all these ingredients that people say oh put 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 so i'm going to tell you now that you should not put this ingredient on your skin there are some certain ingredients that should never Go on your skin it can depend on the kind of skin but generally it shouldn't be on your skin it is not meant to be on your skin the first thing i'm going to be talking about is toothpaste toothpaste like why should you put toothpaste on your skin in the first place like i don't understand i see diys i see acts like skincare acts when you have um pimples put um toothpaste on it and then next one is going to dry out like no don't do it don't ever put toothpaste on your skin it just doesn't make any sense i think the main reason why they say oh put toothpaste on your skin because toothpaste has a uh, mentor and some other ingredient that might be good for the skin or that are good for the skin but it is in the form of paste and there are other um chemicals in the toothpaste that should not go on your skin so don't put toothpaste on your skin because if you put toothpaste on your skin yes it might dry out your pimples but then it is going to cause irritation it's going to cause redness it's going to cause inflammation and then you're going to see that all oh, that pimples is going to dry out and then after drying, drying out it is going to leave a dark spot or a red spot and then the pimples will keep reappearing and reappearing and reforming like the pimples will keep reforming reforming and reforming so what's the point and the more the pimples reform on that particular spot the more dark that place is and the more hard it is for the dark spot to go like it's not going to go for long it's, it's like a fast action like it allows your pupils to dry up and then it's going to come back on that same spot again it's supposed to be for the teeth to make your teeth white like when it's supposed to make your teeth white not for pimples or anything like don't damage your skin please don't the second ingredient i'm going to talk about is like an ingredient that i talk about in most of my videos recently is lemon juice i'm not saying lemon is not good for your skin lemon is in fact amazing for the skin it helps to um re reduce hyperpigmentation it helps to get rid of acne scars but lemon juice fresh lemon juice is can be like it does more harm than good to your skin because lemon is photosensitive that is it is like sensitive to sunlight and sun rays and thereby it's, when you're eating lemon on your skin and then you go out in the sun it's uh, like over time you start having redness on your skin and then you get sunburn easily and hyperpigmentation dark on the eye and you are not going to love that you're not going to love it because lemon is photosensitive that's why i always say it when if you feel like the need to put lemon in your skincare products or you feel the need to use lemon please use lemon oil or lemon extract and even when you're using lemon oils or lemon extract please do make sure to use a generous amount of sunscreen when you're going out on the sun it can cause you sunburn it can cause upper pigmentation it can cause redness and irritation and it can cause dark under eye and we don't want that now the third ingredient that i'm going to be mentioning is onions it's really really good it is nourishing it helps your skin looks youthful and everything but you should take it in your food when you eat onion in your food it goes everywhere it's supposed to go to it works for your skin it works for your eyes and all that jazz the reason why onion is good for the skin is because it has sulfur rich phytochemicals it is rich in sulfur which is good for the skin so instead of using onion just use sulfur in your formulation or use sulfur sulfur based skincare product you don't have to use um, onion in your skin because it can definitely cause irritation it irritates your skin the way it irritates your eyes when you cut it is the same way to irritates your skin so please please and please don't use onion in your skin instead use sulfur sulfur powder there's sulfur powder there's sulfur ointments that you can use on your skin and the fourth ingredient i think this is the fourth ingredient that i'm talking about is baking soda so that is basically the sister or the brother of lemon like they're basically the same thing they are very very harsh like lemon is very harsh same with baking soda and i see beauty acts i'll tell you to mix lemon and baking sodas together 
as a scrub to scrub your skin please don't please do not because by doing that you are um deriving your skin that's my cat <laughs> you are deriving your skin the um good nutrients brown brownie come hi say hi it's my beautiful cat brownie say hi brownie say <laughs> like i was saying i see beauty art telling you to mix um lemon and baking soda together to use it as a scrub to get rid of dark spot to get rid of sunburn to get rid of hyperpigmentation and darkness still okay to use like lemon or baking soda on your armpits you know your bikini line your um dark knee dark knuckles all that those part of the body are kind of protected from sunlight when you go out so it is still fine when you use lemon or big soda on your skin it basically dries out your skin it removes all the old dead all the um oils on your skin and then immediately it finishes and you feel like oh my skin is looking so fresh oh there's no more oil there's no basically it dries out your skin it removes all the oil on your skin and the more um i, I, would, I don't know how to put this when you deprive your skin from the um, natural oils that it secretes, it tends to secrete more oil. It tends to secrete more oil. I see an act where they say, oh, if you have oily skin, use lemon and baking soda to reduce oily skin. That is a big lie. That is a big lie. If you have oily skin and you are using lemon and baking soda, you are damaging your skin and you will continue to secrete more oil. Your skin will be, become more oil, oily. I don't know how to explain this, but let me try. I'm going to try. Now, you use um, lemon baking soda. That's why I say, well, even when you use black soap, black soap can be drying. You have to use something to moisturize, something to balance it. pH of skin is around 4.5 to 5 or to 6. So you want to you want to make sure that your skin's pH is in that bracket 4.5 to 6 every time. So when you are using something really, really acidic on your skin, you have to be able to balance it out and bring your skin back to that pH of 4.5 to 6. So when you're not using something very harmful, something too acidic, you are damaging your skin, your skin irritation will start to happen, inflammation will start to happen, and then as time goes on, you start having dark dark hyperpigmentation and dark on the eye and it will be so hard to get rid of so um when you're using baking soda your skin it's basically whip out it whips out the um nourishing or the useful oils that your skin actually needs because your skin actually needs oil and when you're removing the oil your skin would will, will secrete more oil so the more you use this baking soda and lemon the more your skin will become oil oily so do not do that don't use baking soda oils so this next ingredient i'm going to be talking about kind of controversial um it's it's a two within like i'm just giving my opinion here okay i'm just giving my opinion here and this is alcohol any alcohol based anything like alcohol based cleansers alcohol based toners basically alcohol on your skin is bad i'm not saying um all these alcohol based toners or cleansers out there is no good it depends on your skin type but for someone like me, I have a sensitive skin, I have oil, oily skin, and normally you say, oh, use alcohol-based toner to, like, you know, get rid of the oil on your skin. It is basically the same thing, like I said, with the baking soda. When you use alcohol-based toners, it definitely gets rid of your spot, your oil on the spot. Like, you feel like, oh, my skin is dry, no more oil. But the more drying your skin is, the more your skin will feel the need to secrete more oil. And to even secrete more oil than it usually have because it will feel like, oh, oh, this skin is too dry, so I need to secrete more oil and to continue to secrete more oil. And then you'll be thinking, oh, I have oily skin, I'm getting rid of oily skin, but then you are just worsening your oily skin. Your skin will be so shiny and so oily and irritating. So you don't want to use alcohol based toners. You don't want to use alcohol based toners. So I'm going to let you guys in on my secret that I've been doing for like over three years now. It has really, really helped reduce my um oily skin. What I do, the more, like when you use water based toners, it helps reduce your oily skin because the skin will not feel the need to over secrete oil. So they, therefore, like you just have like normal oil secretion. And another thing that I do is um, for my girls that wear makeup, you don't want to use alcohol based makeup remover yeah or makeup wipes instead you should do oil makeup remover oil makeup remover and what is oil makeup remover it is basically removing your makeup with oil basically you can use any kind of oil rosehip oil 
primrose oil whatever oil that you have you basically just use it or there are a lot of oil based makeup remover out there and there are also oil based makeup wipes so you want to look into oil based things like you might be thinking oh i have oily skin i asked me to use oil more oil on my skin yes i am saying that i'm telling you to put more oil on your skin because the more your skin get acquainted with you know oils the less oil it will secrete i don't know if you can get that the more your skin gets used of gets used to oil on it the less it will secrete oil and the less oily your skin will be but the more you like dry out your skin like with alcohol or baking soda or lemon the more your skin will feel the need to secrete more oil and the more oily your skin will be i don't know if you guys get that logic now the i don't know if this is the fifth or the sixth ingredient i'm talking about i've lost track um the next one i'm going to talking about is coconut oil yeah, yeah, yeah. i know people are saying coconut oil coconut oil is good coconut oil is good yes coconut oil is good but coconut oil is bad for your skin bad why did i say that and you guys are wondering why did she say that is she crazy is she all right yeah she's all right i'm all right coconut oil falls under comedogenic oils and what are comedogenic oils comedogenic oils are oils that have tendency of clogging your pores or just basically clog your pores so if you don't know what this is about you can go ahead to google and search comedogenic oils and then they're going to give you like the ranges like there's a range of there are some oils that fall under comedogenic and there are some oils that fall under non-comedogenic oils and the non-comedogenic oils are oils that do not clog your pores those are the best kind of oils and coconut oil is like one like it's basically on top of the comedogenic kind therefore like it clogs your pores so bad if there was someone that has large pores basically not only someone that has large pores generally you don't want to use coconut oil on your skin coconut oil is amazing for your hair amazing for your hair amazing you want to use coconut oil for your hair like it helps your hair um, your hairs oh, it helps your hair be silky smooth it um improves growth for your hair and it is just amazing generally but for the skin you don't want to guys just ignore this stuff that i'm wearing it's just okay i think it's better like this so coconut oil is comedogenic and it can clog your pores and when your um pores are clogged then whatever you use in your skin would not be absorbed into the skin and then you will keep using expensive products you keep using different kind of products and nothing would work and you'll be like oh i'm using all this thing but my skin is not working why is it not working hello you are using coconut oil on your skin and coconut oil is basically it has already clogged your pores and whatever you are using is just a waste of money you're just wasting your product basically so it's not coconut oil you can use orba oil orba oil is really good and light and it is non comedogenic you can use rose hip oil it is amazing argan oil amazing m seed oil um sunflower oil argan oil orba oil shea butter so now you see stuff like cocoa butter um coconut oil coconut butter they are very very comedogenic i'm not saying they are bad for your skin there's some certain people that use um like i know some of you will be I, i'm very sure some of you still come to my comments and i'm like hey i have i use coconut oil i've been using coconut oil for the past five years and it's working on my skin it's amazing yes it is amazing because you have your skin can adapt to it. you have amazing skin your skin can adapt to coconut oil i'm not saying it is for everybody i'm not saying what i'm saying or this information i'm giving is for everybody it is not for everybody it is my opinion and i think you should look into what you're doing too because i believe if you are here you are here for skincare solutions and i'm just giving you like the things that might be causing your skincare products not to work on your skin or the things that might be causing damage to your skin so um for someone like me coconut oil is not for me but coconut oil i would like my skin will become so textured my skin will start to like i don't know it's, it will be dark yeah basically i'll become dark and sunburned when i use coconut oil i don't know why but, like i really didn't know why before but then when i went on i did the research i realized that coconut oil is just not for me I've been using coconut oil and it is amazing in your skin Continue using it you're good but if you are using coconut oil and you do not see any result or you see some kind of thing happening to your skin some kind of damage or change or change that you don't want then please stop using it so that's basically all the ingredient that i i want to talk about today if i have any more ingredient that i eventually like 
get to know i'm gonna be doing a part two but that is basically it for today's video if you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you have subscribed to my channel yet be sure to subscribe button down below i'm sure to hit the bell button so you get notified every single time i upload a video till next time bye